All right, now it's time to start my Pokemon adventure, and I I'm so excited. I've heard so many great things about, about Pokemon and how they're so nice and such. Ah! Ah! Oh, is this a new Pokemon trainer on Route 1? Let me give you a taste of the real Pokemon world, mother With Sand Attack! Did someone say Sand Attack? How about Sand Storm? What is going on guys, this is Dobbs here, bringing you another Pokemon video. And in this video, I'm gonna go over 51 Pokemon that have ridiculous moves on them. Oh, and also, I hit three Master Balls in this video, and if you find them all, well, you're awesome. And guys, if y'all didn't know, I actually have a gaming channel called Dobbs Gaming, so y'all should all definitely go over there and subscribe. I'm planning on doing a lot more content over there now since I have a lot more energy to do so. So yeah, leave a link down below in the description, and with that said, let's get started with the video. If you breed a Charizard with Dragonite, Noivern, or Flapple, the Charmander will get the egg move Wing Attack. But the thing is, how can the Charmander use Wing Attack when it doesn't have any wings? You kind of need wings to use Wing Attack. There is a Fortress card that has the move Everyone Explode Now. So yeah, I, I wouldn't want to mess with this Fortress because he will literally explode to, to make a point. Gorbis can know the move Shell Smash, but the only shells that are on his body are, are on his chest. So. I'm, I'm cool with that. Crocodile can learn to attract, but the thing is, it is genderless, so what, what is it trying to attract? And also, it doesn't even have a face, it's just a mirror, so maybe the person looking at themselves are attracting themselves or something. Smurgle can sketch the move Mind Blown, and when he actually uses the move Mind Blown, he spawns a Blasphemous head and throws at the opponent and it explodes. So every Smurgle you see has a Blasphemous head on standby for when he uses his move. And also, fun fact, if the Smurgle is shiny, the Blasphemous head will be shiny as well. Gloom can learn Sweet Scent, but there's a bunch of Pokedex entries that state that Gloom smells like foul odor. So how can it learn Sweet Scent when it smells like, like trash? Though, there is a Pokedex entry that states that 1 out of 1,000 people enjoy its smell, so maybe those 1 out of 1,000 people are enjoying the Sweet Scent. Okay, we've learned the path that Rhydon can learn Surf, even Tyranitar can learn Surf. Heck, even Tauros can learn Surf, but somehow Kangaskhan can Surf as well. Like, would his baby drown if, if it were swimming like that? What happened to the baby? There is a very obscure event, Sableye, that knows the move Octazooka, which is artillery signature move. But like, why? Doug Trio can use the Z move Supersonic Sky Strike. I'll, I'll just let the animation speak for itself. It literally brings up the ground with it when it does a Sky Strike. There are a number of clever cards with the move Eek and periodically they just get longer and longer with the E in Eek. And honestly, it, it's the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. I love it. Wooper can learn punching moves like Ice Punch via TM, Power Up Punch via Egg Move, and even Dynamic Punch via Move Tutor. But like, what is it punching with? It's invisible arms or something? Is it like Rayman? Primeape can learn Iron Tail. But the thing is, when it evolves, it loses its tail. So how does that make any sense? They even acknowledge this in Pokemon Park, and Primeape is like, I mastered Iron Tail without a tail. And do you know what that means? He uses his penis. Exertus can use the Z move Twinkle Tackle. So imagine yourself getting KO'd by a legendary Pokemon that with the move Twinkle Tackle. And it just moves like this, all weird and stiff like. What even is happening? For some reason, Articuno can learn the move Sandstorm. I wonder what that would look like. Shadidja can learn Rest, Substitute, Giga Drain, and Final Gambit. Like imagine, a Shadidja self-destructing and doing this humongous explosion to just deal one damage. Mantyke, a cute little one foot tall fish, can learn the move Earthquake. How is that even possible? That That is like ridiculous. How are you gonna tell me that Mantyke can learn Earthquake, but not Entei, a legendary beast Pokemon? Lapras, in only Generation 1, can learn the move Solar Beam, which is so random and, and makes no sense. No wonder Game Freak changed it in Generation 2. But funny enough, in Let's Go, it's like a copy-paste of Generation 1, so Lapras can learn Solar Beam in that game. So you could totally just transfer the Pokemon Sword and Shield and just catch people off guard with it. The duo can learn Fly, despite not having wings. Like, look at it. This is what it looks like in Pokemon Stadium. It's flying. 
Azelf can learn explosion, and there's no explanation on why it, it can. So you have Uxie who is just vibing with his books, you have Mesprit who's playing around and fighting, and then you have Azelf saying, F this, I'm exploding. Krabby can learn Alley Switch, and the description for Alley Switch says that the user teleports using a strange power. So I guess Krabby walking sideways is a strange power in the Pokemon universe. No one can stop Krabby. Rattata can learn Ice Beam, Blizzard, Thunderbolt, Thunder, and Bubble Beam. So I want to see Joey's top percent Rattata top that because that seems like the better Rattata in my eyes. Out of all the move areas of the anime, Ash's bubbles are knowing Whirlwind is probably the most ridiculous. Like, his bubbles will probably have some powerful lungs. Chansey can learn teleport. So you're telling me this big gooey blob with a random egg can teleport? Like, how? Maybe Nurse Joy uses summoning jutsu like in Naruto. Vigoroth can learn the move Rest. But the thing is, it has the ability Vital Spirit, which literally prevents resting. So how on earth is Vigoroth going to use Rest? I feel like that would just break the Pokemon universe if you tried that in the game. Oh, also apparently it can learn Sleep Talk and Snore, so it... I don't know when it would use that. Heatran can learn Bug Bite. Like, I understand Heatmore learning it because it eats ants, but Heatran? It's not even a bug, and it doesn't even eat bugs, so why does it learn this move? Delibird can learn Future Sight. So along with Chansey, Delibird has some psychic powers as well. I, I guess it could predict the future like Christmas if, if you're naughty or nice, and also the end of the world. Tokubi can learn soft boil. Like, I understand Tokubi is a giant egg, but where does it get the smaller egg from to boil? Unless it boils itself. Bronzong can learn toxic. Man, it must be made of lead because I have no idea where you would get toxic from from this, this big metal bell. There is an Incineroar card that says God Dang Punch in Japanese, but when they translated it to English, it became Profane Punch. So this Incineroar is punching so hard that it curses. Smoochum can learn me look. There's no way on earth this little cute little Pokemon can make me scared. How could you even make a me look with that face? Sinistee can learn metronome, but it doesn't have any fingers to wiggle. Like, isn't that how it works? You, you wiggle your finger? It's just like a cup of tea. There is an event Snorlax that has the move Splash. Yeah, I feel like if a Snorlax jumped inside a pool of water and caused a splash, it, it would actually do damage. Snorlax is, is kind of a big boy. Torchic can learn the move Seismic Toss through a move tutor. I understand Pokemon like Machamp, Charizard, or even a Pinsir throwing a Pokemon in the air and slamming it down, but a little small chick with no arms? That's just ridiculous. Mr. Mime can learn Sleep Talk, but isn't the whole point of being a mime is to not speak and only use movements for, for stuff? Mr. Mime talking while he's asleep just breaks all the rules. Dustnor can learn Mega Kick. Yeah, I, let me say it again. Dustnor, a ghost type Pokemon with no legs, can learn a normal type move Mega Kick that requires a leg foot. I feel like this is just wrong on so many levels. Chandelure can learn Acid. So yeah, if you have a Chandelure hanging around at your house, like on the ceiling or something, I will probably never visit you. That just sounds like a death trap. Igly Buff, along with Pichu, Cleffa, Meryl, and, and even Wooper, can all know a scary face through an event, which is kind of hilarious, and it kind of makes sense for Igly Buff because when it evolves to Wigglytuff, it can have that that creepy look to it. Just look at it. It it's, it looks it looks like it's gonna get me or something. Azrael can learn Helping Hand, but just like with Wooper, it doesn't have any hands, so how's it gonna clap to help its ally out in, in battle? Like, look at his face. It, it's, it's sad. It, it wants his hand so it can help out, but it can't. But somehow can. It's a wizard. Slay King can learn Focus Blast and Focus Punch, despite being one of the most unfocused Pokemon of all time. It's so unfocused that it literally skips moves in battle, so how is it going to do a Focus Blast? Like we see in the anime of Ash and Scrafty trying to land a Focus Blast and missing every single one of them. So how on earth is a Slay King going to do that? Gardevoir can learn Flash. You know what? I'm, I'm cool with that, actually. That's not ridiculous at all. It can flash me all at once. For some reason, Game Freak gave Mewtwo the ability to learn Dive in Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. It's like the only non-water or fish-like Pokemon that can learn this. And the funny thing is, it can't even learn Surf, so it, it, it can dive, but it can't surf on the water. It's just so random. Hopip can learn Payday. I understand Pokemon like Meowth and Meowstic learning this because in Japanese the move is called Coin for Cat, but how can a Cottonweave spontaneously spawn coins? It just doesn't make any sense. 
Vivlion is one of four Pokemon that can learn the move Hold Hands. But the thing is, Vivlion doesn't have any hands to, to hold. You would think being one of four Pokemon, it, it would be a Pokemon with hands. Not a fancy patterned Vivlion with only wings. Macargo can learn Infestation. Okay, I can not kind of understand Ghastly learning this move because it's a ghost Pokemon probably haunting you or something. But a Macargo, a slug made of lava that is 15,000 degrees Fahrenheit? H how would it even spawn bugs without melting them? A Rockstar Pikachu can learn the move Be Meteor Mash. Like, how on earth is this possible? The description for this move says that the user hits the opponent so hard that it feels like a meteor. And somehow, a Pikachu with little stub hands can do this. What? The move Whirlpool is one of the weirdest and obscure Pokemon moves ever. But you know what's even weirder? The fact that Tauros can learn it. Like, I've accepted that it can learn Surf, but this is where I put my foot down. Th this is just absurd. The Ultra Beast Celesteela can learn Acrobatics. I'm sorry, but I just have a hard time believing a two-ton Pokemon can jump all nibble-like. This is like entering an 80s manga Joe character territory. Kind of like a Raleigh from Dragon Ball. Whale Lord can learn Noble Roar. I mean, I guess whales do kind of roar in the sea, but are they noble? Not really. Here's another one with Snorlax. Snorlax can learn the move High Horsepower by Level Up. And what's ridiculous about this one is that in Generation 7, Rapidash and even Tauros couldn't even learn it. So it, it's just kind of funny that this big blob human-like Pokemon can learn this horse move when a horse couldn't even learn it. Jinx can learn Lick. I, I don't really know what to think about that. Is that sexy or is that just creepy? And finally, Bidoof can learn Attract. How can Bidoof attract anything? Just look at his face. Look at it. Nah, I'm just kidding, Bidoof. Or am I? And there you go. 51 Pokemon with ridiculous moves. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe and ring that bell to stay notified for future uploads. And if you want to binge my other videos, click on the end card right now and, and just start binging. Also, if you want to join the Dobbs Ancient Discord server, click the link down below and you can join us and, and talk to us. And also, be sure to check out my gaming channel, Dobbs Gaming, below as well. And that's all for this video, and I'll see y'all next time. Peace.